Greetings, unsettled souls. <laughs> for the dumb of the day. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I don't like to give dumb of the day to mean. Dumb usually kind of silly, but this is so stupid and so cruel that I gave it the dumb of the day anyway. And I've heard of this before. It makes my blood boil. What kind of piece of human stuff would you have to be to loot during a, nat a natural disaster? Now, I, get, I don't mean people that steal diapers. I don't mean that's not even stealing. Or, you know, it, it, I guess technically it is. Water. Okay, fine. I live down the street from a uh, family dollar, I think it is. It, um, if something horrible happened, there's a really good chance that the person you're looking at right here it would grab some water or something. But you know what else I would do? I'd probably go ahead and contact Circle K whenever I got to civilization, the internet, whatever again, and say I took a case of your water. And that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about something to save your life. I'm saying that imagine a flood comes Somebody breaks into the studio here and takes the fact cam, takes the big screen TV. What kind of garbage soul do you have? New Orleans imposes curfew to prevent crime in the wake of Ida the Hill. These are the kinds of people that would shoot dogs like they did in Australia. Look at the other video today. New Orleans on Tuesday imposed a citywide curfew to prevent crime after Hurricane Ida. Mayor Latoya Contrell signed the executive order mandating a curfew for all residents from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Emergency and relief workers that goes on in New Orleans and the parish of Orleans are exempt from the curfew. The action went into effect immediately. Now, I'm not in favor of the government swooping in and taking away your rights. I admit I didn't have a problem for the 14 days to stop the spread since I didn't want the hospitals overrun, but I haven't been in favor of any kind of a lockdown since then. No. This is something that they're doing, I'm not going to say out of necessity, I'm not going to say I'm in favor of it, I'm not, I think people should be allowed to defend their own property, you come from my TV, you might not have a head. The trouble is, they don't have any way to protect the properties, because a lot of the people are missing, they're, they went, they evacuated, they did whatever, their stores are open, their businesses are open, and there are people, just, Urgh, evil, nasty, garbage, scum, bastard people roaming the streets and stealing things. Control during a press briefing Tuesday said that the city's police and personnel from Louisiana National Guard will enforce the curfew. There's absolutely no reason for anyone to be on the streets of the city of New Orleans, Police Chief Sean Ferguson said at the briefing according to Bloomberg. Well, pause. That might not be for you to say. It's not for them to explain what they're doing on the street to you. Now, I understand you need to stop the looting. But at some point, again, you can't... You know, it's a dumb of the day. There's so many nuances. A dumb is under dumb -dees. It's like a lasagna of stupidity. The Black Forest cake of stupidity. He added that the police department has already made numerous arrests for looting in the aftermath of the storm, but refused to give a specific number because he did not want to generate a false narrative that the city was not in control. In other words, it's so bad that he doesn't dare to tell you. It is somewhat to me an embarrassment to have a small group. How do we know it's a small group? Oh, don't dare question authority. A small group of individuals take these unnecessary actions while our city is very vulnerable. 
We are all in dire need, Ferguson said, and we have to reach out and lean on one another to get through this together. Here's the other thing I have to ask, though. Is there nothing we could do to plan for these better? Because, friends, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but this does seem to happen a lot. Do you know why? Because you're living in the bottom of a bowl! That's its own nightmare. That's its own common sense. That maybe if you live in the bottom of a bowl, you might want to expect things like hurricanes each and every year. It's easy for you to say, we have tornadoes up here. Hey, I'm talking to me too. The bigger picture is that if and when these kinds of things do hit, we have to worry about the government taking our rights away to move and we have to be afraid of people marauding the streets, breaking into houses and stealing anything that might be left that the storm didn't steal. I somehow do not think that that's what the Founding Fathers had in mind when they named the United States United. 